welcome back everyone i am the dungeon master and this is the long anticipated return of dragons of the frozen seas and today we are on all new software as the game takes place on fantasy grounds now so um this is a little bit of a new learning experience for all of us here we're all gonna you know try to uh make this as smooth as possible but uh here's to hoping that the uh same level of fun is to be had since the only thing that's changed is the uh, uh user interface of the software here so um the last time you guys had just finished going through the Valley of the Gods and had found the fabled, mythical First City, a place that um, has, has been talked about since the earliest tales have been spread around campfires of a city built by gods and giants, um, basically Asgard on Earth. And now... As you entered the famed halls of the entrance to the first city, you are surrounded by icy stone that has sat frozen below the earth for thousands of years. The markings are faded, but on them you can see ancient runes from uh, the giants carved in signifying all manner of different um, aspects of the first city such as you know the entrance is marked with runes of welcoming and protection and as you travel along you see other runes that signify out you know different places and so And so as you guys travel through the the hall you come to to a very very long hall that leads you on a downward trajectory towards um the main first city and this is that hall. It is massive, but it is it is just basically one long foyer into the first city. Um Okay, so while we're going through all these stone statues, I'm going to cast read magic to see if I can learn anything useful. If I can figure out how to do it. There is nothing magical on uh, any any of the uh, you know symbols. It's there. The runes are are ancient giant uh, script. Okie dokie. Well, thank you. So they're giant. Does Norori understand them? Uh, yeah, like I said, um, Scotty, uh, Jalivi, uh, a few of you um, have some understanding, so so the runes are of welcoming and protection. Okay, just uh, making sure. Good. Yes, we continue down the hallway and um, kind of sort of look for trip wires and stuff carefully uh so you guys should be able to move oh wait hold on let me let me see if i can unlock your tokens for you to be able oh no you should yeah you should be able to move them i don't even see a map Maps not. Oh, there we go. So if you push the up arrow, it will dock it neatly into the window, and then the uh, four arrows 
um, at the bottom allow you to pan down control uh, or the mouse wheel allows you to scroll zoom in and out. And the and the host name is Good Thief Epic Roll, right? I'm still trying to get. Yes. It. I keep yeah. getting turned down by the server. It's all it's all separate words. If you try to put it together, it's not going to work. I, I got in once before, and I saw the character list. So I mean, I know I I can connect. I'll just listen in. You guys keep going. How do you say we have to put them in? Because I see my token, but it won't land in the map. You're 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 on the map right now. No, I'm not. I think not seeing the map. Don't know how it works. I see Elf's token on the map, but nobody else's. I can certainly see the map. And do you see everybody's tokens? I, my all the tokens are all I can see. The only token I see on the map is oh, all my oh, the rest of the all the way at the bottom. I see our I see ours. No, I still only I'm see you. There's like this thing that looks like a flower. At the bottom right hand side, you got to push, you got to use your mouse and pull down to get there. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right. Hey, this gives a much wider view, map view, than the other one did. Yeah, you know, I think uh, it also shows up a lot better on here because it's running straight off of my PC instead of being uploaded to another site. So, like, everything just graphically looks so much better. Right. Right, well, let's, uh, let's get going, guys. Jalivi is anxious to move on. Perhaps nervous about what is behind or excited about what lies ahead. Both. Scotty speaks up to everyone before we no, advance. No, the same feeling. Oh, hold on, hold on, yeah. Hazard. Scotty, what were you saying? Scotty says, I have the same feeling, Jilavi and Norori, but uh, today, this morning, I commune with the spirits of fire. And today... I'm all prepared to do more communing with the spirits of fire and have lots of fire spells. Keep that in mind if we need fireballs and burning hands and that sort of thing. I Just call me Little Richard, because I got great balls of fire. I uh, had a feeling we'd come across some other stuff, too, that we had come across. So I have included Ray of Enfeeblement and resist energy in my new spell list. Excellent. Glad to hear it, says Scotty. Good work, cuz. Thank you. Ori sort of crafts his... sort of smiles as he says, and I have some tricks we can... I can help. Get up. All prepared and ready to go. <laughs> All right, Eric is going to roll perception. If he can figure out how. Alf will beat him to rowing perception with his ultra perceptive skills. Technocratic skills, maybe. As Ulf looks and listens around, he studies the the air. He looks at the ice on the cobblestones. And there's one thing that stands out to him more than anything else. There are 
claw marks all over the place. How big are the claw marks? Um, depends, you know. I mean, like, you, if you've never seen, like, something clawed up by a dog, like, you know, it's the same size claws, but all of the claw marks are, like, very different sizes and depths and everything just based on random circumstances of what they were doing at the time. So, like, yeah, some are really big and deep and some are really little, but it doesn't, like, necessarily indicate a whole lot. Watch your asses in here. We're not alone. So, this is Bruce again. I can see the map now. I, I, could someone explain how to get around and see our tokens? Okay, so... Yeah, so, so first thing you want to do is push the arrow, the up arrow on the map. That will dock it nice and neat into the, the software's window there. And then... Uh up arrow key yeah there's a there's a there's a there's a down arrow icon and an up arrow icon those are the first two icons over on the right oh up right and down left yep yep so push the up right got it done docked yep and then that'll dock that and then uh you can use the mouse wheel or um whatever you have to uh zoom in and out and then, do you see in the bottom right corner there, there's the gold square with the four arrow keys? Yes. You just click, left click and hold on that, and it allows you to drag the mouse down and, and pan up and down. You can also pan left and right if there are left and right uh, movements, but if you zoom all the way out, then the only way to go is up and down. Okay, I'll play with it. Thank you. And yeah, absolutely. put our tokens down? Are Your token are, is down. Are, I only see Ulf's token in the upper left. You have to that bottom that bottom right thing that with the four arrows that gold that look, I say kind of looks like a flower. Yeah, click you got to go that. all the way down. Click on that and then hold your left mouse and drag down. <laughs> I'm struggling with that. I'll figure it out. Uh, I would help if I attached a mouse to my laptop, I imagine. I can move you. I'll move you. No, no, you I got need. a mouse attached. I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay. I, I mean, feel free to move my, Please, move my token in the meantime. Yes, please. Yep. Please do so. I did. I um, kept you close. As always, the cousins stay close by, ensuring each other's safety. So, uh, Eric, here is where you would um, roll your survival to see what you know about all of this. Like the tracks and everything? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, hang on. I guess I should do that too, huh? Well, apparently Ulf knows more about this than Eric does. Apparently. Yeah, and I uh, gotta add in some bonuses on that, too. Plus 11? Wow. Actually, it's gonna be higher than that. It's gonna be uh, plus 14. How many skills did you take in survival? <laughs> Just six. Just six. Yeah, you can only take up to your up to your level. Oh my god, that's so funny. In a class skill. And up to half of your level in a cross-class skill. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, Eric, you're looking around, and the first thing that you notice is that um, some of the, of the markings have little tufts of white fur in them and Ulf you see drag marks as if uh, 
something was 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 dragged away, scratching and clawing at, at the cobblestone, trying desperately not to be taken by whatever had a hold of it. Liam Neeson. Yeah. It looks like something got eaten here. Or maybe not eaten here, but caught and dragged away. Where the drag marks take us. So the drag marks uh, look like they lead off to the left there. And so as you guys are um, moving through, uh, that is when Ulf, your uh, perception and Eric's perception both kick in and you hear the grumbles of a group of monstrous humanoids that you have encountered not all that distantly in the past and as you you uh brace for for the charge that you know is coming you know before you even see them exit the rooms that you are about to face those frost trolls again all right um Should we roll initiative? Yes. Scott, they I guess you know, do y'all share this information with us? Because this would allow me to do something. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to put resistance on myself. Have they spotted us yet? Uh, you can tell by by the way that they're reacting that this was an ambush. Got it. So we don't have any time before it kicks off. How do we roll initiative? Go to the combat section of your character sheet and then the bottom right. And then just drag that into the chat box. What chat box? The chat over on the left. Not seeing that, but I'll figure it out. Where, where you were typing earlier? The, the spot where you type on the left, just above the dice? Nope, nothing like that. Never seen anything like that. Hmm. Got it. But if I undock, I can get to it. Ah. Did that are roll? Do I... Are we rolling initiative now, or do we have time to do stuff beforehand? Nope, you're rolling initiative. I'm having trouble. Fortitude, reflex, will, melee range, combat maneuvers. So you're on the main tab. Go to combat. Oh, never mind. It should be just to the right of where you were looking. Initiative, stat base. Grab the box to the right of initiative and drag it to chat. There is no initiative. Oh, wait. I see it. One can also double click on that. I don't think it rolled. It did not. No, why? Because I did double click it. Just try dragging it to chat. Well, that would drag the whole box to chat. You see the little box with the dice in it next oh, to the initiative? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to be double clicking or dragging to chat. Okay, thank you. Right -o.
I guess it went through. I saw the dice roll. I think we should bravely run away. Has everyone rolled for initiative? I'm not sure if I have. I have. Yes, Scotty should be at an 8. With the correct modifiers. And Nori is 14. I do not know if mine went through or not. It did not. You have not rolled yet, babe. That went through. Hey, cousin, join me at an eight. Yep, we yeah. go near the end. Who yep. do we appreciate? Two, four, six, eight. Yep, yep. Uh, you still have to roll for north, Hazard. Un unless, oh, wait, no, never mind. I'll just put him at your initiative. That, that'll make it easier. Okay, so your initiative was 14. But don't forget to have his sheet uh, open in case you need to do anything with his attacks, which you probably will. Understood. Um, I think we should back up and hopefully they'll just come in one at a time somehow. What is the physical situation um, in terms of elevation? Are the ones on our left and right above us? Are they in rooms? What so... You guys are down on the base floor. The stairs to your left and right are about f 10 feet, you know. Um, so each each of the increments, um, it, it's 10 feet up from where you are. And then it's five feet up to the next set of stairs in from there. So, yeah, right now. Um, elevation wise, you guys are in the, uh, the, uh, kill box. It's the place you go if you want to die. I don't want to be in the kill box. So we're going to have to decide. We're going to have to shore up these, these ones on the side somehow. Um, or run away. But, you know, if we run away, there's really nowhere to go right now. If we fall running back away has, yeah, running yeah, away has the terrific tactical advantage. If we fall back into the corridor from where we came, it'll force them into a bottleneck. Right. I vote for the bottleneck. As do I. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. We back how, up. How do we do? Yeah, how do we do initiative order? Does the GM inform us when it's our turn? Or is uh, a, yeah, it's it's Ulf's turn right now. I I it should have centered the map on him when. Okay. Um, and, and the trolls to our left and right, uh, those are on a higher level or a lower level. Uh, they're everybody's higher than you right now. Okay. I'm going to yell for everyone to back up in the hallway, and I'm going to slowly back up towards the entrance as they do it, so that I'll be... Whoa, 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 it's all's turn. Right, right, right. So I am guess I'm... Everybody move back, back where you were. You, you, and then so, backing up you know, so guys, because of the way the, the mechanically that the initiative system works, you just have to move yourself back and then trust that the others will follow. Holding right. ain't going to work there. So, so first Ready, Ulf first gets Ulf. to move, then then everybody else. We're gonna do it like. You. Right, I'm done. Who is next on initiative? No worry. It, it'll it'll come up. Here you go. How are you guys telling whose initiative it is? The if you open up the combat tracker, there's a little um. And it, and it just said, you know, see, turn Ulf, turn Norori in the chat. Oh yeah, it does. and it and it centers the map on whoever's turn it is. Combat, combat tracker. 
Interesting. It's the t it's the top left icon over on the right. And so I managed to apply a blinded status to myself. Yeah, I took that off. Okay. I'm not just going to leave you blinded. I'm not a jerk. I mean, good, but yeah. Oh, I, oh, I could. You cast haste. Yes, indeed. On as many people as I can. Uh, I think that's a self cast. It should no, say right on your character sheet others. if you... It's one character per level, I think. What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> I'm a fan. Okay, so for preparation, we're going to click on haste. So now you have haste prepared. And then... Uh, uh, you to hold, hold your you go spell to until combat, back to the and then you go, no, not that, and then you go like this. Yeah, one creature a level, okay. There's a way to cast this. Um, oh yeah, like this. Oh, uh, that's what you already did? Okay. It doesn't just pop it up, though, huh? All right. So, yeah, what you have to do then for, you know, the case of stuff like this is you got to click on the little symbol and, and then it'll tell me, you know, the transmuted creature move and act more quickly when making a full attack. You may make one extra attack. At the highest attack bonus. Yeah, I Yay. cast haste. I cast haste on myself and two other characters. You're only third level. Yes, because. No, it's a third. It's a third level spell. He's a sixth level caster. That is all of you. That means I'll cast it on all of us. There you go. Yay! Thanks, Nori. Let frost guide your feet. I like that. I imagine as the haste takes effect, you see like these sort of like these sort of like snow like tre snow like uh, particles sort of float around your your feet. Cool. And that's the end of my turn. Looks like North is next. Yeah, so North acts on your turn. Yeah, North is going to... going over here. And going to prepare a slam attack for when... and a frost... when a frost troll appears. Yeah. Yeah, where is he going? He is he getting back at, back into the corridor? Yes, he's right in front of Ulf. Oh no, not in front of us! Hold the line. <laughs> oh well. Uh, North's probably best in in the very front anyway. Yeah. No. What? 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 Uh, actually, our reach weapons are best in the front, but oh well. Well. Kind of, but also, like, you can use your reach weapons from the rear, you know, guard. Not if someone gets in front of them. Oh, well. And, and uh, what, what reach weapon does Ulf have? 
Kalatos. Excalibur. Yeah, uh, only Scotty has a reach weapon. I was gonna say. Yeah. The the great sword's She's not a been reach trying weapon. Trying to sell them to other people, but nobody else. Yeah. We've not had an opportunity to pick any up. Everybody loves the way you use your spear. They just are like, nah, not for me. Eric, it Eric. is your turn. All right. Eric is going to move behind uh, Ulf and Scotty. He's got enough movement to get there, huh? Uh, you can you can uh, count it out. Each square is five feet. No, he does not. Oh God, y'all! Yeah, what? You, that's the worst place for me to be in front. Do you can that. use um, your second, your standard action as an additional move action to complete your move. You're hasty. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I believe haste gives some movement too. Yeah, haste is an extra thirty movement, so we you can all be moving really, really, really fast really and far. far. Oh, that's plenty. That's plenty. So then. Eric so wants the front rank, eh? Yeah, no, Eric. Is no, he uh, he went to the back. Yeah, Eric's going to the back of the line. And. uh... Well, he's going to cast, cast Shalala. I don't think he'll get to use it, but he's going to cast it anyway. Ooh, yeah, good idea. And then, yeah, you just uh, click on cast. And then you don't have to pop that one up since I do know what it, it does already, but yeah. All right, Scotty, what do you do? How do I have trolls in sight yet, right? They're not in sight yet. You guys were able to react quickly because Ulf and Eric heard them bellowing and beginning to charge. How do I cast Shalala? So you open your character sheet and you go to your actions. And under your spells, you will see Shalala, and you open up the magnifying glass, and you push cast. Scotty will delay until after her cousin Jillaby goes. Okay. I need to see what this new spell does because I, I don't re quite remember yet. Um. Get back, cousin! You're a target! I am, but the problem is that y'all have all backed up so far that there's no room for me. Oh, right! We go off the map and there's no space. We got I'm ambushed thinking. right at the entrance point of the map, and there's not physical room for our tokens. Right, and so I'm kind of stuck. So now on preparation mode there, choose which spells you all have prepared, because it'll tell you how many you can prepare. So just go ahead and click on the dot for what spells you want prepared. And then once you're done, go back to combat. And then, of course, uh, make sure that you uh, cast Shalala to reduce it by that one again. I'm just going to cast resist on myself at the moment as my second as my standard as my standard action I guess since I use haste to back up I guess Okay I will suggest that we get moved around so that when they come I'm going to cast ray of enfeeblement so if that so if that's going to affect anybody I would suggest you not be in the way of it. Yeah, we'd also like to be back another 10 feet but there's no space on the map. Right. 
Are, are those ledges on the left and right that are elevated above the corridor? Yes. Wait, that's going to be my turn at the moment. So is there an intern or anything? Or How high is the ceiling, by the way? So Scotty goes now, I think. Yes. Troll time. Oh, oh I, right. yeah, I forgot to pull you down below that because, yeah, here, let me see if I can. No, there, there's no way to do that. Uh, yeah, it just has you guys in that order. So what does Scotty do? She casts bull strength on Ulf, says, go get him, Ulf, and then moves to the back of the party. Done. Oh, and she's also going to say to everybody, hey, guys, stay back from this opening. I'm going to be launching fireballs into that big open space once they're clumped up there. So don't go forward of north. North, the, right where the line where you are north is going to be fireball-y. So let's take a line and hold it. Done. Scotty, you took fireball too? We're going to be fireballing the heck out of these things. I took fireball today, she says. I don't always. So, Ulf, you're up four strength. I don't know how to find or cast the spell yet. I'll figure that out. But, Ulf, you'll get a plus four to your strength. Sweet. It's under, it's under your activity. Um, actions tab, and it's it's already added. Uh, you do need to prepare it, but that's okay. And how high is the ceiling in this corridor? About 20 feet. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. Okay. So, hopefully, North will fall back and form a line, and done. Hey, Jillivy, since we can both fireball, let's hold off and wait till they're good and clumped. And then we'll both hit them all with a fireball, both at the same time, okay? Yeah, okay, until then, I'll, ray and, I'll do Ray of Enfeeblement until we get them. Yeah, or even just conserve our resources and hang back. I don't there know might be hard. more after this. That's going to be depending on how hurt they get while we're waiting. Right. Key is that we is that we wait until they're all clumped. And get them all at once. Eric also has flaming sphere. Great. We can use that to cut off their escape when they decide to flee from our fireballs. One of the trolls comes running out of the room and leaps off of the 10-foot uh, raised ledge and is now facing off against north. It would swing, but it can't. Did it jump down? Because it already moved twice. It first had to come out of the room. Oh, yeah, I forgot North has reach. You attack with one slam. You don't get two slams. You attack... I mean to roll twice. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know if you were confused or not, so I just figured I'd clarify just to make sure. You attack with one slam. Unfortunately, the troll is just a little too quick and manages to get out of the way. Dang it!
That's a lot of trolls, friend. I think it's a good thing Jillavi and I do fireballs now. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sorry. It's a, it's a little wall. Cuz, cuz, looks like it'll be another, a little longer before they're all clumped up. They're not there yet. Well, that's okay. Like, I think we want to hold off one more round. Okay, Ulf, you see all of the trolls beginning to pour out of every corner, every tunnel. They are roaring um, some sort of obscenity in troll and, and coming at you with bloodlust in their eyes. They are breathing frosty breath um, in, the, in the chill air. And you know that, like, it's possible they might be deal dealing cold damage to you as well. I'm going to say they can go do the same to their own mothers. And take a five-foot step to stand alongside Nawari. And ready a full attack action at any of them stupid enough to come near me. And also, um, I guess, ready a move action if, or whatever's left of my action to get the fuck out of the way of the fireball if it happens. You can't yeah, ready two actions. Oh, and, I guess. And they, they, Ulf, you might want to note that they have reach. They can attack you from outside of your reach. But only the one can fit. Eh. I'll just hold my entire turn then. Are you gonna ready in action? Great big, big when you're fighting great big things like this, trolls and giants, a reach weapons become really, really helpful because they all have reach. Yeah, I'm gonna ready to step into them and take my full attack with a five foot step or charge if need be. Wait, wait. If what? If they get close enough. For me to take the five foot step and then make my full. Attack. Oh, I got you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, Norori, what do you do? Norori's going to cast uh, mage armor on on North. Ah, smart. North begins to glow with an icy blue coat of of magical armor over his uh crystalline natural armor does that hit one of the trolls yet i am pretty sure it does not but i am going to double check just to see does that take into account the plus one from haste it does not. And does it take into account the plus one from Flagbearer? It does not. 16. They have an armor class of 16. So that just hits. Just hits. And it'll be plus one extra point of damage from Flagbearer. And that's everybody's attacks all, all the time. Our plus one two hit and plus one damage. And so, uh, Norori, yep, we're going to roll the damage for... Nope, that's not right. Nope, that's still not right. How do I roll the damage? Right under where it said attack is damage. And haste would also grant him a, an extra attack as well, if I'm not mistaken. Hi. Nope, that's the attack again. It's right there. 
Right, right where you're it's rolling the attack. Down and right. The uh, you double click the th the damage. You double click the damage a little bit down and right from where you click the attack. There you go. See, because now it tells you everything. It okay, deal it deals seventeen damage, but that's not all. Eighteen. Eighteen. A eighteen damage, but that's not all. Because you also uh, are dealing five of that in bleeding dam. Or no, I'm sorry. The bleeding is just extra damage that he's uh, done. Uh, it doesn't continue to bleed, I don't think. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it does. Yeah. I'm going to double check that. But for now, we're going with it does continue to bleed. Because why else would it be bleeding damage? But more importantly, now you get a free combat maneuver check to try and grab him. And that's what he'll do. So combat maneuver is on the combat tab. Where's combat maneuver in the combat tab? CMB. There you go. And so you slam into the troll, cause it to take uh, bleeding damage, attempt to grab him, and it... Where is his CMD? Why is that not just part of the whole... I believe that's under combat. Oh, there it is, CMD. Oh my god, you just grabbed him because I'm forgetting Scotty's flag bearer. As you yeah. as you reach out and and grab the troll, um he is shocked to find that that you're able to to hold on to him um you know, given the fact that uh you're you're so much smaller. Pull He's him not in. that small. I did. He he is almost equal size. Go north. Hold the line. Trust me. He will. No worries. Pull him in. Right, because Ulf is waiting for the troll to get a little bit closer. And then if you click next actor uh, on the combat tractor tracker, that'll that'll uh, let me know that your turn is done. But North still has his hasted action, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, he he still has a second attack from that, if I'm not mistaken. There, I applied grabbled to the troll. How long does haste last? The entire combat, almost certainly. A long time. Yeah, it's usually uh, one round per level, so like six rounds. If I'm not mistaken, it's one round per level. Yeah, that's right. right. Hazard, are you going to take another attack or something? Yes. And then that one misses. But it was worth a try. Yep. But um, now but now you also released the grapple because you you chose to take another attack. I didn't mean that. Oh well, it's alright. 
And North still has movement, he or a five foot step if he wants it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just waiting. Isn't North North just about done with his turn? He is done with his turn. You want the five foot step or you you, you, you have to you have to click next actor, the arrow pointing down on the combat tracker. And once his turn is over, that five foot step is no good. Yep, so if you want to make it, go ahead. If not, that's okay. Which five foot step? If you wanted to take a five foot step back to get even with Ulf, you still can before you end your turn, is what we're trying to tell you. There you go. And I don't see the, the combat tracker. It's the two crossed swords icon up in the uh, top right. Excellent. Okay. Eric is going to cast Aggressive Thundercloud. Sounds pretty aggressive. Well, that's kind of the point. Mm, nope, you gotta click on cast. As soon as I find cast. You gotta click the uh, magnifying glass, usually. Oh, man, what have you been doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Stop clicking stuff. Just, just stop. Uh, I think I broke it. So did you choose the spells that you had prepared? Uh... Well, I intended to choose the spells that I have listed there as pre as prepared spells. Whether I actually did it or not, <laughs> I'm not sure. But that was the intent, at least. I accidentally hit detect if that happens to have taken away points please put them back A crackling spherical storm cloud flies in whichever direction you point and deals electricity damage to those it strikes. It has a fly speed of 20 feet. If it enters a space that contains a creature, it stops moving for the round and deals 3d6 points of electricity damage. Successful reflex save negates it. Okay. So, um... It provides concealment, blah, blah, blah. So uh, what you want to do 
is um tell me you know of course that you're targeting this troll in front of you which obviously um and and then i say okay let me roll the the reflex save um what is the difficulty class which you can see right there it's 15 right yeah i think so by by clicking on the magnifying glass you can see cast damage and over on the right it says save ref dc 15 yeah it's 15 yeah all right and so now i open up the troll and i roll my reflex save and i just crush the shit out of that and so i don't take any damage and we don't need to worry about going any further with that okay well the, the thundercloud does stick around for several rounds right too, right yeah but now i'm also concealed Oh, yeah, that's true. And that's going to be my turn. Okay. Hmm. I can't put concealed on him, but rest assured, he is. Scotty speaks to her companions and says... Not yet, my friends. Wait until they're closer, cuz, before we blast them. Then she says to Norori, Norori, I'm about to get big and fight from the back rank. Please move back when you have the chance. Because uh, I'm going to fill... No. She's going to fill... There's no, there's no place on the map for it. But presumably there's more corridor behind us. Norori for a looks to Scotty and says, uh, what? Uh, I'll need you to move back ten feet on your turn. Yes, I heard you, but... Huh? For, the, for, the, per, for okay. the purposes of this, um, you, can, you can consider the, the entrance to this area effectively blocked off by a staircase or uh, some other such. So if you back off you are also leaving the the battle map and going to an area where you cannot be effective at all but we don't all fit on the map that's the problem see there's only a 10 by th we're only, only yes you do you all fit on no you all fit you all fit on the map plus 10 trolls you just don't all fit where you would like to with enough room to where you would move so w but we walked in this way right so what's just off the map five and ten feet behind Nurori? A stairway that leads down that is effectively blocking off any um efficacy that you could have in combat you can neither ah. be targeted nor target if you move off of the area so so what you're saying is there is no room for scotty to get big in this area there's there's a whole huge right, map right to here. explore right it's just this entrance is not the place for it got it so there is no space just off the map to the south of us so norori can't move south is that right? Yep. To be clear, there is somewhere there. It is just effectively off the map. As in you are no longer in this combat map area. And it's not possible to stand there with a 20-foot reach weapon and stab over everybody. Right. You can't stand, right. Is you that right? Right, you can't you can't have a ranged weapon because the angle of the stair, you know, keeps you from being able to target anyone. Nobody can see you. You're you're essentially out of the entire encounter. Got it. And does that mean that if we get knocked back five feet, we're also out of the encounter, or is it possible to move back in? Well, right. You would just be like right at the base of the stairs if you were to get knocked back just a little. Got it. So we've just come upstairs and Down. downstairs behind us. Yes. No, there's a upstairs behind you. Got it. 
Uh, Scotty is boggled about what to do and realizes there's not space, so she just wastes her turn. And But does say, hey, cuz, once they clump up a little bit more, next turn we'll fireball them. For now I'm saving my mana. Done. All right, well, I am going to uh, take this opportunity to enfeeble one of them so that it'll be a little bit easier on y'all. And then I'll use my... I, I've got a question. Since it's a haste, do I get two spells? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as as long as as you have the actions for them. It, it has to be with a natural or manufactured weapon. Oh, and natural or manufactured. So, yeah, you could use, like, a spell-like ability and a spell, but not two spells. Okay. Great. That is useful. Very well. My first action will be to do Ray of Enfeeblement on the two ones i think it's a cone or something so it says subject takes a penalty to strength equal to 1d6 per two caster levels strength cannot drop below zero does not stack with itself apply the high highest penalty instead yes yeah, stop eva lizzie whatever um and uh, i don't it doesn't say how many people it targets though i'm not really sure about that But anyway, it doesn't say, wait, what is it again? Ray of enfeeblement. A it's, a, it's a ray. Okay. Rays only target one. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. That's why I got confused for a second there because I'm like, wait, what? what is she trying to use? Oh, the ray? Yeah, no, the ray only targets one. You're good. So you're going to shoot your ray of enfeeblement at troll number three in front of you? Yes. I think I just messed up the typing on it. That's not going to take. What do you mean messed up the typing? I accidentally typed it. I accidentally typed something different, so I don't know if it's going to come up now. Typed something different. I. It never mind. So, Jalivi, I think the next step is to roll a twenty-sided die to try and hit its touch armor class. And if okay. you roll high enough to hit it, then it uh, will s take the thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, do I just hit this black die? No. You you cast Ray of Enfeeblement. Click on the magnifying glass and ki ca uh, click cast. It's... Okay. Okay. That was resistance. Ew. I put it on feeblement though. It is only doing resistance, and I don't know why. I it did your raven feeblement. No, I did that. Just to verify that it was working. Right. So what happens? Well, she's got to cast it first. It won't let me cast it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You're clicking on resistance, not ray of enfeeblement. I'm not. Go to, it's, I'm not. Go to ray of enfeeblement, click on the magnifying glass, uh, and then right. click the cast underneath. It's next to the book. Yes, I know, but every time I cook it, every time I do it, it does resistance, and I haven't even hit resistance. I 
I I just don't see how it's possible because resistance is up here. I've got a check mark right next to Raven Feeblement, and mm -hmm. when I press camera, it casts resistance. It's still doing it. Uh, there. The magnifying glass should bring a drop down menu. There you go. Now you have cast a uh, ray touch attack spell 24 versus the troll and as a result um you you have hit it with with the uh with the uh ray now all you need to do is um click on the little icon i'm not quite sure what that is next to it uh and it will it will tell you um what it does which uh take a penalty to strength 1d6 plus one per two caster levels so yeah uh there should be a damage here why isn't there a damage on this one One D six strength, but there's not a uh, a damage. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that, but not gonna do that right now. Either way, now you just roll uh one D six plus one. Or uh one D six plus one plus three. It's plus three, so the dice at the bottom? Yes. And that you can just drag up and, and let it drop, and we know to add three. So five strength damage has been dealt to that troll. And Here we I'm, go. And then I'm going to do my new meteor on it. That's my second action. I think haste is kind of limited that way. I think it only lets us do attacks, not a second spell. <laughs> right. It's natural. It's a spell-like ability. It's natural. So if so that should work, right? Well, is it a natural attack? No, it says you have to make the full attack action, which is something different. Oh, when you make a full attack action. Yeah, you didn't make a full attack action. Correct. Gotcha. Okay, then I'm done. Yay, trolls get to move. They're going to come in, come um, up, we hope. Will the trolls all start their movement? Is it possible for me to, where I am, take a five-foot step to be able to attack the troll in front of us? Uh, your, your trigger was if you could take a five-foot step and make a full attack action. Right. So if that happens, I'll I'll let you know. Okay. If if Ulf had reach, he could do that, but he doesn't have the reach. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, now this troll, he is kind of clustered, so he's going to just jump into the back of the line and wait his turn. And this troll, hmm, does he want to rush past his buddy? I mean, yeah, he kind of does. They're all pretty hungry. Yeah, yeah, I think I do. I think I, I think I'm gonna run up in there, which means that uh, you do indeed get your um, attack. Oh, there's not enough space. Never mind. I can't get in there. He could jump up on the thing on the side and squeeze. Uh, I, I, I can't quite because I'd be squeezing where I am uh, to make my attack, which like that just wouldn't work. Like I, I could squeeze past him and all of that. That's that's not the problem. But, um, you know, then when it comes down to to uh making my attack i can't make it from an area where i'm squeezing without taking penalties and that would not be good right that's why we want the trolls to squeeze so they take those huge penalties for squeezing i i mean they're not exactly the smartest but they're not gonna they're not gonna jumble up like that maybe they'll be hungry enough next round scotty They're very likely to be on fire next round. All right, All right, so this troll heals five, which it automatically reduced the wounds by five. Awesome, I love that. God, I love Fantasy Grounds. And now, let's see. Oh, you are still within my threatened range without having to move. So, unfortunately... I am going to attack you with no a chance for you to... Oh, wait. Oh, let me zoom in on that. I think you are just outside my range. Ba oh, no, just inside. Just inside. If I'm just inside, I should be able to catch him with a five-foot step. Nope. Yeah, totally. Nope. Because if you take a five-foot step up... Oh, yeah. Then, then you could have. But you could have done that at any point in your turn, so he didn't move to trigger your action. But you can see your, your threatened square around you there, so if you move up uh, five feet, then yeah. But you're also putting yourself, you know, further out into the crowd there too, so it's your choice. I'll let you step up right now and attack him if you want. Just hold... I guess. Yeah, I'll do it. He doesn't have any wound damage. He just has strength damage. All right, so you're going to make the attacks one at a time, or? Uh, it should have it to where it makes the multiple attacks. Hold on, let me open up your character sheet. Why would he heal? I thought he only had strength damage, and that's not healed. I think it was another one that healed. No, it was the same one. He was hit before by North. Oh, I forgot. For 18 damage. I forgot about that. Yeah, it'll roll uh, two attacks if if you're making your your multiple attack. And, and, uh, if, if you're, um, intending to use your shield bash as well, uh, obviously I didn't quite have time to get that set up, but, uh, um, I saw you like rolling an attack with the shield earlier. Yeah, I see shield heavy. So you, you can, you can still make your, your attack that way. Alrighty, so uh, roll damage and all that. Yeah. And remember the plus one on damage from Flag Bearer. And I'm gonna and haste. And in, and enhanced strength. Hi. The strength is added in already. 
so 35 damage plus potential knockback from Shield Bash. So that'd be... That might very well be enough to knock him unconscious, just from the, how big of a number he loses all at once. That'd be a 30 on the attack roll for Shield Bash. Okay, so... You... Attack... Oh, actually, I need to make a, another great sword attack as well. Wait. Because of the uh, haste. Hold on. There's like a lot of attacks on here, so I need to make sure that everything's right. All right. Uh, one, two, shield. Good. Haste. And then uh, damage, 17... 30, shield, 35, good. Now, haste, yes. Mm, that roll go through? Okay, yeah, it did. Now, that hits? Uh, you, you did it at Ulf for some reason. Oh, well, poor you're, Ulf. You're, 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 trying, you're trying to attack yourself. So, uh, uh, stop hitting yourself. Yeah, stop hitting yourself. Let me, uh, clear your targets. All right, now hopefully you don't do that again. And, uh, 23 does indeed. Uh, hit him and it would a and it's a crit too so you need to uh roll your damage but how do you how do you do damage with a crit shouldn't this be auto doing that we'll we'll have to figure that part out i don't know but yeah so so for now uh roll your damage so that would have been the crit one i guess and then, and then, yeah. So now it's a crit. So that means that you uh, roll an additional two d six. Okay. So thirty five, fifty, and nine is fifty nine. Plus Scotty's uh, bonus for. Um, flag bearer on four attacks that hit so uh 63 and you get to make a uh check to try to knock him back because of the thing right yeah use the attack roll which would have been a 30 counting the haste and the flag bearer Does that have any potential to knock the troll unconscious? He also is negative five strength right now. Who? The troll. Oh, okay, yeah. No, that should... It might affect his CMD, but I'm not sure how that's fully calculated. I'm just checked. reminding. As you swing... The legendary sword Excalibur back and forth bashing the shield the the troll with your shield you slice him over and over again before long the troll is bleeding from a dozen places and he drops to the ground from the might of your shield and you stab him one final time with Excalibur, and he looks like he's either uh, dead or dying. Yeah, but we still, if he's, he still will regenerate if he's a troll, so I think. So we gotta fire him to be sure. Good thing we have lots of mana left for fire. Yep. And that'll be my ready to action. Okay. 
And then the troll is going to uh, regenerate his five uh, hit points, but um, that does not help him in his current situation. And so uh, the next troll. Was there any knockback, by the way? It it doesn't matter because there's a troll right behind him. So, like, you know, it oh, just yeah. knocks him into him and he lands on the ground anyway. Right, just trying to force a squeeze. He's he's on the ground, so, you know. You can't fit a square peg into a round hole. Well, we can try. <laughs> yes, we can. This troll charges straight to the front of the line, gets right up in your face, and unleashes his attack. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. Hold on. But I like that roll. No, I'll keep the same roll. I just want to try to uh, try to do this right. See? Why does it say a miss, though? A 25 should definitely hit you. Yeah, a 25 should hit me. Yeah, I'll have to figure out why it says miss, but uh, once I once I get that corrected, then we'll be able to do stuff like this to where all you got to do is drag this little targeting reptile onto whoever you're trying to attack, and it'll automatically calculate that stuff for you. Ah, oh. yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to try again just to see how this works. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, and see it automatically did the damage and everything. Boom. Ooh, but wouldn't hit. No, no, I know. But, oh, yeah, that one that... wouldn't hit? <laughs> no. That's only a 13. No, it's not going to hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's the damage. The 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 hit oh. the the hit hit was the was the first yeah, roll a seventeen. The second roll was a hit, so I take the uh, thirteen damage. Gotcha. Right, right. So that that's that's what it's doing with that. But yeah. Anyway, uh, the, don't don't take the damage. Um, get. Oh. Cause wait, the seventeen didn't hit, right? Yeah, no. No, the seventeen does not hit. Right. So, 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 go ahead and and uh, on your on your thing where it says that you have thirteen wounds or however many wounds, uh, just set that back down to zero. Okay. Perfect. All right. So yeah, this troll rushes up and tries to bite you, but you bring your shield up and and uh, block him. Still a bunch of trolls that haven't moved yet. So now this one is squeezing just to just to get like as close as possible to the action here. And so, cousin, notice how they clump up. Yep. Troll Time number six. Time for a roast. Is squeezing.
Uh, could, any advice on how to zoom in and out on the map? Uh, mouse wheel is what I use, and um, um, control when you use the mouse wheel. Yeah, I can't zoom out. It's odd. Everything's enormous. What happens when you hold control and use mouse and uh, scroll the mouse wheel down? I'll try that. Thank you. And then this guy is going to move up here, but then just stay right there. This guy, however, is just so enraged and hungry that he comes flying off of all of these uh ledges and pummels into the wall alongside everyone he is squeezing but is going to make his attack i don't think that's logical to be honest with you how is that logical he's an animal doesn't have to be logical also, it's good for us. He won't hit squat. And he's, he's, he's at a huge penalties on everything, and we're at huge advantages to hit him. And you got the high AC guys in front for just this reason. Especially yeah. Go ahead. the Spurry North. Oh. Why didn't it do the damage this time? Yeah, that hits. I'm just trying to get it to do the damage. Oh, there we go. The wounds showed up automatically on the sheet. Awesome. That's what I love about Fantasy Grounds. We're going to get so far so fast in just a little bit of time. We just got to, you know past this little bit of uh, growing pains. Yeah, it seems like the learning curve's not too steep. We'll get it figured out in a few weeks. It, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, if this is how far we've gotten after one session, like, come on, we'll be fine. No use crying over... Uh, Spilt uh, websites, eh? Nope, you seem excited about this new one. I gotta say, I I am because um, Roll Twenty's site, like the the only thing it really has going for it, aside from the fact that it has a lot of users, is the fact that it's extremely low end. Um, you know, learning curve and uh, stress on like, you know, other people having to like um, do anything. Like as long as you have a competent DM who can set everything up with macros, like you really don't have to know what you're doing at all. But like Fantasy Ground, like the the robustness of of you know everything that we're going to be able to to you know do here is just it, it's gonna be amazing yeah exactly exactly like you know leaving everything aside i'm not gonna talk about anything or anything like that everything else aside i think this has been the best thing to happen to us well you know it is a little bit more you know challenging at the first for 
to users, but I, I think, like I said, I think we'll get it. Oh, I know we will get it. Let's get it. Fire. Burn them all down. Who's so, next? Olaf, what do you do? <laughs> Scotty's ready to throw those fireballs. We'll get them, cousin. Oof. I'm ex as excited as you are. Olaf, you might want to get back from there. Oh, uh, first I'm going to carve this troll a new asshole. Well, it's mine's 60 feet reach, so I can probably do it without killing mm -hmm. Rory. Yeah, but after I kill it, I can take my five foot step. So, uh, the great sword, uh, all three attacks, and then the shield bash. Yep. Just let me carve this asshole a new troll. Oh, now remember, if you if you click on that targeting reptile right there on the combat tracker, and then it'll it'll pop up a a little uh, draggable reptile box. You just drag that right onto whoever you're trying to target, and and then it'll automatically do that that uh, stuff for you. Can anybody else see the uh, 20 foot radius circle I drew? Or can yeah, you guys not I can. See that? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. All righty. Yeah, there you go. Get so some. With, uh, plus two added to all that. I think only one sword and shield hit. Uh. Uh, don't don't worry about the first the the first rolls that that uh, that you did. Just now that uh, now that you're targeting the troll, just roll roll your attack. Okay. I'm very forgiving when it comes to like doing stuff the right way. Like if we can do it the right way, let's just do it the right way. Okay. So now everything that says that you hit, go ahead and drop that damage in there. And then see it's telling you the status of the troll as you go. No status on that last one. Uh, oh, you, 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 you did miss one of those hits, though. I did. I, I yeah. got I to give him back 16. Oh, yeah, you're right. But I think the shield might knock him down, but regardless, I'm going to take that five-foot step back. All right, and then uh, you got to roll... Uh, or no, what? what is it? What? What is the total for what I need to uh, check versus his CMD? The um, shield was a total of 26, counting the uh, flagstaff and haste modifier. And then that right. just has, and then that just has to beat my CMD, and I'm knocked, right? Uh, let me pull the skill. It might have to beat it by five, but I don't think that's true. Uh, if it knocks him back and he can't move back, then yeah, it knocks him down. As long as it beats the CMD. Yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that troll is indeed knocked prone then as, as your, uh, attack knocks him back into the wall and he just falls to the ground in front of you. And I already hit the intern button. Yep. So, uh, it's okay if you it. can't, Scotty. Doesn't really bother us.
Norari? Yep. Or he's just going to hang back there and just sort of wait wait until there's a the right moment to cast Sleet Storm. Against Frost Trolls? I don't know if there is a right moment. You know what I meant. Just... Hey, it could uh, trip them up when they try to flee from us. But it might put out the fire. Who just attacked? Uh, North slam at the troll for a hit. I didn't mean to click that. And plus one more. That did not uh did not work. You did not target the troll correctly. Huh? That didn't work. It said you had the troll targeted, and then uh, you didn't have the troll targeted when you did the um, damage. So, yeah, no, what you got to do is click on the targeting rectile, the, the, the target, and, and then it'll pop up a little box. So you see on north where, where it has the skull... And then the little target, you click the target, and then there's a box. You drag the box onto this troll right here, and now he's targeted. Now drop the damage for the slam into there. See, so yeah, now it tells you the status of the troll, you know, indicating that that you've you've done the damage and all of that. So now. Uh, you also get a free CMB check to grab. And you do not. Oh, that was not. Yep. Uh, so you. Ooh, you actually might grab him because he's got so much. Uh, going against him right now. Uh, let me double check. Uh, nope. You do not grab him. Oh, wait, yeah, you do. Prone's got to have a negative effect on your on your CMD. Why is it not applying? Minus four. Yeah. Minus four and squeezing does too. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not sure why that didn't apply to the sheet. But yes, he is now also grabbled by North. Perfect. I love that. Grappled by North. So now you have him grabbed and he cannot just uh, get away. And he's also kind of beat up. And then is that your turn? You just click the end next actor button there. Eric. All right. Eric is going to use his move action to direct the aggressive thundercloud to the troll in the back. And he's also going to 
Uh, but okay, it sto- yeah. but it stops when it encounters a creature. So if it oh. was right here on the on the one right here, then you would have to move it. Um, you know, you can only move it twenty feet, and it's got to be in a manner specific to like not encounter someone else. Okay, well. Should be able to go around that troll, huh? I mean, assuming that you can, uh, you know, squeeze it up past here, you could, you could get it, um, you know, to we'll this. Troll. We'll just target the troll on the left in the back there. That's the what I'm saying. The left. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do that one. Uh, that now works. remember, now remember to actually target him. Well, I gotta figure out how. Um. So, so what you, what you gotta do is click on the targeting reptile on Eric in the combat tracker, and that's gonna open up the box that has the target that says "drag on to new target" when you when you hover over it. Drag that directly onto that troll. I don't even know which troll it is, and I don't even see the targeting rectile. On the combat tracker. I'm looking at it. It's the thing that looks yeah. like a gun sight. When you don't just click the target, you draw a box around the target's um, token, or partially. All you have to do is click on the target. And then there's and then there's a uh, little gray box on the right that says uh, drag onto new target. And all you got to do is grab that and drag it onto whoever you want to target. And once it's marked, you should see an arrow with a distance number indicator on it. Correct. Correct. Yeah, I'm kind of lost. On the combat uh, tracker. Yeah, where is this uh, targeting reptile? It's it's the gun sight symbol to the right. Uh, I see. I, I don't see anything like that. Me either. There's a skull. I see a skull and a person. Yeah, I see a skull and a person. You see a skull and a person? You don't have a targeting the reptile? GM has different perspective. GM but you guys but you guys have to see. but you guys have to be able to target stuff. Um for me it's not on the combat tracker itself. It's just above the map. There's a a list of five buttons. Ah, it's on the map. Because you guys don't use the combat tracker like I do, probably. See those five buttons at the top? Um, the gun reticle to the left is grayed out or not grayed out. Uh, um, on that screenshot you sent? Yeah, is that kind of what your screen looks like? That's what my screen looks like. Okay, so that um, gunshot reticle up at the top, choose the one on the left so that it's highlighted, and then you should be able to just draw a box around the token of the creature you want to target. It's already 6.30. No, it is 5.30. 5.30. Oh, it's 6.30 on my end. Did we have daylight savings time this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. So I don't see the bar at the top left that you see. Oh. Yeah, I think that's a configurable thing. I don't see it either. But it, there's def several different views you can have of the map. All right. Well, I set the targeting for you for now. So now you can... Uh, um accurately target him with the damage but first i have to roll my reflex save 
How did it get 530 so fast? We haven't even killed one. No, we're, no, we're in the yeah, we're in the learning learning curve phase. And we killed one. No, he regenerated five points. Not that it helps, but uh, probably they won't regenerate when they take fire damage. Just as a wild guess. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm just like, I'm so used to. I mean, I don't. I'm so used to. I'm used to the other one. So the the little. The little tiny green spot I can hardly I can hardly make out, you know, just hit points. So I do not take any damage and am currently concealed. Okay. And with his standard action, Eric is going to prepare an aggressive thunder I mean a uh, greater thunder stomp spell. He's going to wait until after Jalivi and, uh, and, um, Scotty. Um, yes, Scotty casts their fireball. And that's his turn until that happens. So just click, yep, there you go. Perfect. We're going to have this rocking. So, Scotty, what do you do? Scotty first calls upon the spirits of fire. And she casts a fireball centered right where that circle is centered. Hopefully roasting all the trolls. Now, I haven't uh, got, got my spells worked out right, so I guess I should probably just roll the damage. Nope. How would you like me to do it? Wait two seconds. Ding ding! We're just goofing. I plan to spend lots of time uh, tinkering with the character sheet and figuring it all out in the intervening week. Or, so know, dedicated. Uh, now you're you're a shaman five brawler one, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, because I'm looking, and it is telling me that you do not have third level spells. Shamans get shaman is a prepared caster that gets third level spells at uh, fifth level. What happened was you originally put the character in as fourth level. And uh, I corrected it to fifth, and it apparently didn't update the spells. That's because you didn't correct it. You just typed in five. Ah, you should have. Yeah, you should have. You should have let me know so that I could have done it. Yeah, you were busy. Lots going on. Oopsie. And it is still saying you do not get uh, third level spells. Let me take a look real quick. Yeah, you get one third level spell I have no idea why it didn't update plus another one from spirit magic to for two total one of which must be a fireball oh okay well um, that that'll be something I'll have to like set in there to like make it like that um, but yeah and then do you have no you don't have fireball on there because you just got your third level spell so now I will Throw fireball on there quick. Uh, 
and then you'll and be able to cast it. Burn them. Apologies, burn them I, I, I needed to make sure everything was right first before I just threw fireball on there. Sure. It's We're okay. all learning. So, Scotty calls upon the spirits of fire, and she th throws a fireball to that location. Hopefully it blossoms into an enormous explosion. When that is done, she calls upon her martial training, and uh, doesn't do anything else in particular, and just looks to see what happens when, after the explosion. Is there... Uh, and we need to roll 5d6 somewhere. Is there, is there something uh, special about uh getting fireball because it doesn't appear in the shaman spell list correct it's she gets it through the wandering spirit of fire gotcha Fourth gotcha level wandering spirit which okay is set to fire that's why i said at the beginning of the session no no absolutely i just it's the spirits of fire i just wanted to make sure because 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 if it wasn't in the uh shaman spell list like i wanted to make sure where it came from so that it was yep, that's you know. right a and so uh fireball is now being added as a third level spell it is not normally a shaman spell that's correct Does it make a big explosion? Do they screech? Do they melt? Are they engulfed in flame? <laughs> Do their eyebrows burn off? That's right. That's yeah. right. Scotty's right. trying to do an imitation of Michael Bay. Which smells worse? Hamburger helper troll or dual asshole troll? Excuse All right. Me, now... Excuse me, I've got to go to the bathroom and let the dog out because she's pawing at me. Okay. Now, uh, Scotty, if you click on the magnifying glass to the right of Fireball. Oh, I got booted out of the game. I'm coming back in. It'll be a few minutes. Go ahead okay. for me, please. Yes, sir. And so then we just click cast to cast it, which it rolled a range touch. That's dumb. Fireball is not a ranged touch attack. And uh, then all of the trolls need to make a reflex save. And it's saying difficulty class 14. Does that sound right? Yes, that does sound right. Excellent. All right. So now I'm going to make all of the troll saves. You might even want to do it twice, because uh, Cousin Jillaby might be doing something similar. But we can wait and see one at a time. Ah, uh, I really should do this the right way. Alright, so that troll failed. That troll failed. Success. This one's unconscious and doesn't get a roll. So he's just going to take that damage. Like a man. Yeah, no eyebrows for that troll. <laughs> right. All right, troll number four succeeded. So he's going to take half damage. Ooh, what was the damage number? What, we're, we don't know just yet. I'll tell you in a second. First, I want to know who's all taking what, and then I'm going to roll the damage. Because I think I can I can multi-apply. Burn, burn, melt, trolls. All 
All right, troll number four and number eight have saved. All right, four and eight have saved. That is. Being ice trolls, are they, do they seem to be particularly vulnerable to fire, or does it affect You're them about more? to find out. In other encounters, that has been the scenario, but they might be special. Why am I missing trolls? That isn't 10 trolls, is it? There are eight trolls on the field. For the moment, at least. Hmm. Some of them must be, like, buried or something. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so, uh, Scotty. Your finger extends and a small glowing red dot flies out until it reaches the center of your, of your target when it explodes into a swirling tornado of fire. The fire rages all around and does... Twenty four damage uh, to all of the trolls, um, except for four and, and eight, who who only take twelve. Um, however, because they are all vulnerable to fire, instead of taking. Um, 24 or 12 they instead take 36 or 18 also there should be one fewer die on that clearly this first one she must have been blessed there were six but she's only a fifth level caster Huh, yeah, I'll have to fix that. So now one of the trolls is indeed dead as dead can be uh, as his body burns and sizzles. And you can see that where once there was still, you know, like that, you know, slight movement of the unconscious, now it is just the charred muscle of something that is definitely not coming back from being cooked to at least a uh, a blue steak. So Scotty uses her uh, move action to put a bandana or mask over her face because of the stink and says, uh, Cousin Jillivy, that was fun. Your turn. Done. Oh, actually, another troll dies as well. So you got two cooking trolls. There's still plenty for Cousin Jillivy. I left you lots.
Good luck, cuz. All right. I, too, am casting Fireball in roughly the same spot. Yes, indeed. So, now I roll for their reflex saves again. What is the uh, difficulty class on your fireball? Uh, three plus charisma plus any other modifiers, but even if it fails, I've got that evocation thing. That's if they fail their save. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's not if it fails, it's if they fail their save, they're also dazed. Oh, okay. What is Jillivy's charisma? Nineteen. Pardon? Nineteen. Aha, then hers ought to be three higher. Because, uh, Scotty was casting with a 12 attribute. Three higher would make it a 17. Yeah, but I only got a... It is a 17. So troll number one saves... Troll number 10 fails. Troll number 1 gets dazed. No. Yes. No. If they fail their save, they are also dazed. That's what you were saying, that he failed. No, he succeeded. So troll number 10 is dazed. Gotcha. Somehow but but that yeah exactly I'm, I'm not even worried about that right now let's let's just see who all succeeds before we start worrying about you know who's dazed so uh Sorry. no no it's okay it's okay i i just wanted to make sure that uh we were clear about the wording on that because um that that is a big difference okay Troll number four fails. Wow, you guys are rolling really bad, trolls. This ain't this ain't working out well for you guys. Let's let's troll the DM. That's what the trolls are saying. I guess. I'm actually surprised it hit. I had a bad roll. It, 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 there's no hit. I don't know why it's rolling an attack roll. It's an area of effect spell. Yeah, with a fireball, you just say, I want to center it here, and everything within 20 feet is automatically hit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can be forced to, from what I read, you can be forced to roll if you have to shoot it through a narrow opening. Yes. Then Yes, if if you're trying to get it through, like, a window or arrow slit or something, like, yeah. Oh my god. One troll succeeded? Come on. Okay. So, uh, now as I am setting up your targeting so that we can deal all the damage automatically, I am going to describe what happens. Yeah, indeed. And so as uh, Jalivi is uh, following Scotty's example... And unleashing a fireball of her own, it comes out not as the small, bright red uh, spark of flame as Scotty's did, but instead as a bright blue uh, mini sun, like a star that glows in her hand. And instead of streaking out from her finger as Scotty's did, it instead 
it rests gently on on her open palm kind of floating just above it spinning like a like a star in in rotation out in the void of space it sits there spinning casting little miniature solar flares of white blue uh energy kind of illuminating and dazzling like a like a prism spinning around but just in those hues of blue and white and with a little uh release and uh perhaps a a blow like like um you know just kind of sending it on its way with a little breeze it slow slowly in in relative terms like this is all still getting done in the um same amount of time you know but uh you know it 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 uh it, it looks more slow as it kind of uh takes a orbital path to where it to where it's going instead of just streaking there like a laser beam as scotty's did it, it kind of uh looks as though it's orbiting into place and then right as it reaches the um very epicenter of of where Jalivi wanted it to reach it suddenly begins to grow like a supernova before exploding into a billion tiny dazzling stars everywhere that seems to have dazzled um any of the trolls that survived this damage that you're about to roll Yes. Okay. Sorry. One d six. Uh, just just grab the fireball damage and drag it into the into the chat. Roll. No. 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 Uh So the the. Uh, Damage is when you hit the magnifying glass, and then you'll see uh, cast and damage. Then just grab the the little blood droplet square and just drag it right into the into the chat. There you go, perfect. Yeah, I'd say that was a uh, pretty devastating. Uh, attack as they are all not taking a 21 or a 11 damage but rather a 31 or a 16 so troll number one takes uh 16 and is very very badly wounded but is not dazzled as he did actually make his save the lucky lucky bastard <laughs> failed didn't they yes and all of the others failed meaning that they all take 31 instead of the 21 so let's see that is one dead Two dead. How come I can't delete this one now? One troll was placed exactly on top of another one. Yep. Oopsie. Oh, I have to exceed their... Okay. I can't just do it preemptively. Like, you can't just delete a troll. She's got to kill him first. Got to add in that damage. That's right. 
All right. I it don't think this... About 500 points total between the two of us. Yeah. Wow. I don't think this troll took the uh, right damage, because it said he was at 39, and you just dealt 21, so that should have put him at 70? It's probably because he was underneath. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I couldn't target... Oh, you're right. Yeah, I couldn't target him. Okay. So that's another one dead. Another one gone, and another one gone. Dust. And then, yeah, this one too is at 30. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. That's right, because he only took uh, partial damage there. Okay. Uh, but he's still at 46, so he's still, like, not great. And then. Hey, Wolf and Irik and Norori, we left a little bit for you. You guys get the finishes. Oh! Look at that. Troll number uh, five and six are still alive and dazzled. Oh, and troll number eight. Let's charge them all. No survivors. Yeah, so you have three dazzled trolls who are just kind of looking around like oh what uh what the hell is going on here and then troll number one is uh is uh you know rip rare and ready to go sorry i'm just looking for my uh missing troll here yeah so we we're supposed to have four left right yeah it says four left and yet i don't see one on the map oh well I am not overly concerned about it because they are all truly, like, well, good, and roasted at this point. <laughs> like, I don't even know if it's worth it to put the dazzled condition on them. Oh, yeah. It's their turn now. Yeah, Eric is going to hold off on his uh, Greater Thunder Stomp. He, he just doesn't see the point in it. Oh, you don't want to kick a mother down? No, no. I mean, come on. These trolls were were feeling pretty pretty big and tough for a minute there. I mean, I could Thunder Stomp and trip everyone. There's more beyond that. We want to conserve our resources. Yeah, that's a very good point. Eric does not see the point to, in doing a thunderstomp. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a very good point. When when you say it like that, you don't know what's coming up or when you're going to get your resources back. Uh, so, yeah, this troll is going to run. He is like, what the hell was that, man? Kill him! Don't let him get away! You're seeing Scotty's bloodthirsty warrior, Shield Maiden's side. And he runs yeah. all the way to the back where he's trying to climb up a, a ledge. Troll number five is dazzled and he is going to... First of all, get back on the map. Yep, and, yep. And then, because he's all dazzled, he doesn't know where he's going, and he kind of uh, stumbles around and uh, just, like, walks right into your guys' uh, threatened range without without attacking. Troll number six is much more wounded and um, dazzled. So he is going to just move back, stumbling his way back without getting his full movement. Troll number eight is near death and just um, 
decides to to uh you know kind of curl up and and die he has two hit points left Ulfamatic. What you do is you take the bass, you put it right in the blender. Alright, can I uh, make uh, one attack before deciding if I make a full attack or take other stuff? or is it... No, no, no. Full attack is something that you commit to on your, on your turn. Sadly, sorry. I'm going to wait until after Nori goes to take my action. Norori. Norori is going to just hang back and and command North to slam into to slam his fists into the troll. Sounds like a plan. Okay, now let me target him first before you roll. Okay, go for it. You miss the troll. You gonna take your second attack? You miss the troll. Did Love want to take his turn now since Nori missed? And you're remembering the plus the plus two from the bonuses, right? Ah, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Damn it. No, you can always wait till I take my turn. <laughs> yeah, are you going to be able to attack it? That's not what he said, um, though. He said after yeah. Nori. So. Well, he can just delay again. All he did was delay his turn. He didn't ready in action. He just delayed his turn. So now that his turn's up again, he can be like, I delay again. Uh. Nah, I'm going to carve it to pieces and then take a five-foot step. Ooh, you bring the mighty sword Excalibur to bear once again against these abominations. Oh, wait, wait. You didn't let me target him. My bad. He knows how, though. He's like, just get on with it. <laughs> All right, now do it. Now I'm rolling. Ah. Oh, his first ones were all hits. Um, well, they might be. Because I get a plus two and then other stuff. Doing it the right way giveth and it taketh away. Uh, let me check his AC real quick, but I'm almost positive that... Uh, the 15 is going to hit with the plus two. Yes. So, Lord hit. yeah, so, so you've got uh, two swords and a shield to roll damage for. It's dead just from the strength damage. Not only did you kill it, but you mutilated its body. Well done. And now it is dying. But because it took fire damage last turn, it uh, could theoretically regenerate on its turn. So I'm not going to delete it. The others couldn't and therefore. It. Yeah, you can get past it because it's dying right now. So it's just like. Ugh. 
uh, and it's still like kind of burnt from before so like it's not healing as fast as it would so like yeah you can you can get past it All All right. Right. Eric is going to run up to the troll that's dazed at the stairs and hold up let me target it you're going to attempt to whack it I'm going to attempt to whack it with my shillelagh it does have fire damage. What do you want me to do? Whack a guy? Off a guy? Whack off a guy? Because I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> you can go ahead and try to attack it with your Shalala. Hang on a sec. So I can't uh, do a double attack with the Shalala because I had to move, huh? Correct, Amundo. How do I actually target it, though? I never did figure that out. Uh, well, I I targeted it for you for now. We'll 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 get that all worked out, like. I, Let's just, you know, get this encounter wrapped up, you know, before the end of the session, rather than worry about, like, learning all the little minutia that is going to be really easy for us to get taken care of, you know, by next session. Jalivi's just like, fireball! Fireball everything! Yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, I'm looking at the character sheet, and I noticed these little, um these little dots i'm assuming you're supposed to i'm supposed to check those as i cast them all so I don't it, it'll them. it'll automatically do it when we're in the right mode but uh all i need is like maybe an hour of your guys's time in between the the next session here and we'll be able to sit down and i'll just teach you all the little things you need to know about all of that well i just well, figured out what that is so i went ahead and checked the uh the 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 fireball and the uh, what? It, Hang what? on. That yeah, I I mean you can check them, you know, in standard mode, but when you have it in combat mode, like it'll just automatically do it, is what I'm saying. Like, don't worry, we'll go through all of it. But yes, you are correct. You can manually check them for now. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Hang on, something screwy. What are you doing? I have no idea. Did it kill it? Am I rolling damage? Yeah, I'm rolling damage. Yeah, yeah you, you got to grab the attack and pull it into there. I have to say, I like that little ability, though, so there's no way once you get it working right that I can go over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For you. No, this this is this is all going to be amazing. Everything's going to work so well. We just need to uh need to see what's uh going on with um whether or not this attack hits. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to make the attack still. All you have to do is grab the attack and pull it into there. The little ribbon looking thing? No, it's a sword. It's under actions? Oh, Shalala doesn't have an attack because what it actually does is changes the damage of your uh, weapon. So when you have your uh quarter staff here what you need to do oh you already have a blank spot look at that we type in shalala 
and we click this little thing. It's got uh, Oh, I think I missed. Yeah, you missed. And then, Scotty, it is your turn again. Scotty gives a fearsome war cry, and she runs up. Sick very, very fast, still hasted. I don't know how far she moved there, but she wants to move a little further. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to figure out how to... Because I saw, like, there's a way to, like, measure it just like... Uh, we used to do with roll 20, but I haven't like mastered that just yet. Um, give me, that looks like about 60 feet. Yeah. Give, give me a week and I'll, and I'll have that for you. Is, and that troll is still alive or did Eric just kill it? Uh, no, Eric missed. Got it. Then Scotty will try to kill that one. So first step is targeting. Is that right? Yes. And how do I do that? Uh, I'm going to do that for you now, and then we're going to work together to figure out, uh, you know, how how to do it together. Excellent, excellent. I'll let you set that set that meeting up. I'm pretty free. Cool, cool. Yeah, you know, ba basically. Um, it, it should go really quickly, but rather than take time in game to do it, I'd rather just, uh, you know. So she scores a 25 to hit. And that does indeed hit the troll. She only has two hit points. For about 16 damage. But she takes note that it is not destroyed by fire. And she says, and she calls out, After we have slain them all, we'll drag them together in a pile and burn the pile. Done. Okay. Let me see. Um... Jilvi is going to attempt to kill that last one with her minute meteor because it is fire damage. That one with the two hit points. Just so. I guess I'll come up. Do I, should I come up a little that, bit? That one's dead. The one with the two hit points is dead. Scotty just killed it. Oh, okay. Um. Well, I mean, it's die... You guys know what I'm saying. It's a troll. Okay, well, she, what, it wasn't with fire, so that's why. Okay, that's fine. All right, then. So, um, how many hit points does this one have left? They're both critical. All right. Um, we'll do a. Uh, to, I'll do a magic missile, I suppose, on this one closest to us, because it also is considered fire damage, is it not? No. No? No. It's force damage. Gotcha. So it could still, if I don't kill it, it could regenerate. All right. Okay. Um, don't want to kill Narori, so what do I do? I'll 
I'll just magic missile it anyway. So the one closest target for me, and then I'm going to magic missile it. Okay. Um, the the one closest to you right now is on the ground and dying. Well, okay. And then the one by Eric and Scotty is on the ground and dying with Scotty's spear impaling it. Oh, so... I but I will have to move up then so I can reach that one that's not dying, apparently. The one that's fleeing. Potentially, yes. Alright, so that's what I'll do. I'll run past the dying one to about, you know, there. That's my move action, and missile it, I suppose. Because... All right, so that's what I'll do. Okay. Okay, and then, yeah, Eric, as I'm looking at it, what I'll have to do is just create a custom attack for your Shalala. Oh, hold on. Let me let me uh, target it real quick so that you can deal the damage. Do I have to reroll? Uh, if you roll damage. Oh, no, you just hit cast, so you're fine. All right, uh, let me click on your targeting rectile okay now go ahead and roll the damage just drop it right into the thing because magic missile can't miss d4 plus one plus one for two levels so one d4 nope just under the damage from magic missile. Oh. All right. So he takes three damage. However, that was only one missile. You're casting three of them. So do that two more times. Wrong one. No, that was right. No. Nope. Four, four and five. No. Nope. Nope. Wait, what? Why is it doing refeeblement? Okay, five and three. Yes. Die, troll. Bring them now. Way to go, cousin. I just don't want to use the big fireball when they're not spread out. Y so. Yeah, yeah, we should be conserving. He is not dying. I... He is badly damaged, but not dying. You can look and hover over him uh, right now to get a more detailed view of his health bar. Um, it says he's dying because it added up all the damage. Once you subtract the nine damage, it, he's he's all good. Okay, so so how many hit points is he? Hit? So is he dead? Or I'm so sorry, I'm confused. No. He's not dead. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's my turn. Where is the silly? All right. So this troll begins to regenerate again and quickly climbs up onto 
uh, this ledge and races back into some back room. Yeah, we're not going to let that one get away. Unfortunately, we're not going to have time to finish this because he's got another game. This troll is... Uh... Supposed to have more damage. Scotty did uh, 16 damage with her long spear. All right. And then... Uh, he heals five of that. But he is still dying. So he's just going to, you know, be there dying. And then this troll is uh, no longer dazzled and is going to uh, go try and run and join his companion. So he moves up. And climbs up and climbs up. And finally. Oh, this is the troll Scotty dealt the damage to. Why did it have that other troll? I'll deal with that other troll later. Our plan is will be to stab and mutilate and kill the ones that are down and yeah. them all together and put burn them all at once with a low level fire spell. Of course, of course. And so this troll is still dying. Um, so yeah, incapacitated. Narori. Narori sort of follows, follows suit, sort of like following the group. Nori is sort of following the group. Yes. And then North and Ulf got to kill that other one. Before we get out of here if we can. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to leave any survivors. We want to take over their space and rest, maybe. Or at least have safe passage. Okay, so where's the remaining troll? They ran Way up into the north. East. Yep. We're not going to be able to get to those two because we don't have time. So our best bet is to finish these two if we can or we have to stop in the middle. I don't, and I don't know. Yeah, we don't have game time to finish, but the characters are hasted and should be able to make short work of catching and killing. Yeah, them. I would try also, to get character. Also, unlike Roll20, I can stop right in the middle of a combat and pick right up where, where we left off. Now, I don't like doing that anyway so we're going to finish this quickly but you know just for the record it it is never going to be a problem to to pick up exactly where we left off because this saves everything right where it was okay yeah i was worried about that because you know we're still in the middle Ulf, what do you do? So we want to drag these two together and then burn them, right, guys? Yes. We want to catch the two escaping and... I was going to say... Four of them together. I'm pretty sure Scotty is like, no, nah, we're not doing this they get to get away thing. Because trolls will come back. Got to kill them before they can get away.
haste doubles the move speed? Yes. Especially because the trolls wouldn't be running if they, if they, uh, you know, weren't so badly getting the crap kicked out of them. But also remember, Ulf, that uh, that's up. You can't just get up there. The, the basin down here is lower, and then each of those tiers goes up a bit. Right. So I guess what I'll do is um, I could have a full round action, so I'm not doing that. I guess I'm just going to try and slice the head off of this corpse to mutilate it and then uh, take my move action. Yeah, because we can drag those two together and at least burn those two because, you know, one of them's already regenerated five. We can just keep stab them deep so they're down for a little while, then get them all and put them all together. Right. We don't want to have to burn twice and burn two spells. Okay. All right, that's 60 feet for me. That's as much as I can move. And, and, you know, exactly like what Ulf just did with the decapitating there, that just bought you guys a whole bunch of time. Yeah, you want to roll damage on that or just... No, it's fine. All right. That one won't be back for a few minutes at least. Exactly. Which is... Plenty of time for the combats. Eric, what do you do? Once, if I can get a clear line for a charge, I can get in there quick, but, you know. Eric. Are you there, Eric? Skippy. Well, there's one behind us that we have to move to. Oh boy, spread out. I can't seem to move no nori. Hey, Jalivi, I think the one behind us is missing its head. Ulf took its head. Oh, okay. So it won't be bothering us for a few minutes. Okay. Forgot. And we can take the rest of the heads while we go collect them all and gather them and put them together. Gotcha, thanks. Yeah, I, I had to step away for a minute. Uh, is the battle over? No, yeah. we're... We gotta so go after too. Your turn. My turn. Okay, which trolls are still left alive? The ones on the right. Two, way up to the northeast is tr trying to escape. And the ones that are near us are down and just need to have their heads removed. Oh, we can't have that. The one right in front of you has not had his head removed yet, but um, all removed the head of the one behind us. So that one needs to, that one's probably the, maybe if you can, uh, that that's what we need to work on, right? Or, or the fleeing one. Is there one fleeing troll or two? There's two. two but the second one's off the map at the moment. We can't see it. Uh, uh, Scotty can still see it. I'm going to run run up 60 feet, and then I'm going to cast Flaming Sphere on the lead one. All right. Scotty doesn't know. Oh, Flaming Sphere is perfect. That's great. That, that can burn them all up. Well, actually, I think you can only target one. No, but One you can time, but right. It lasts a long time. That's what he meant. Yep. <laughs> I knew I knew where you were going with that right away. I was like, yeah, 
flaming sphere is a good one and that's why because you can just let it roll over all of them all right uh so that's pretty much what i was waiting for was some sort of indication that you guys were going to be able to deal some fire damage uh you know to these trolls as you were fighting them because the fight even with two wounded trolls is very different if you're unwilling to expend your fire resources to prevent them from uh regenerating in the midst of battle uh you know as compared to um just trying to you know deal enough damage and then you got the flaming sphere right there so although you know this battle would probably you know last another couple rounds especially since the trolls uh have the elevation advantage of making you guys have to chase after them that way um e effectively you guys are able to run in there and and corner them and stab them with your spears and slash at them with your weapons and and cut them down and Eric stands there with his flaming ball of fire just controlling it and rolling it towards any trolls that you know try to escape or or are uh you know healing too too rapidly and so um you guys eventually manage to defeat them and that is where we will draw to a close for this session and we will pick up next time on dragons of the frozen seas thank you guys so much for making the switch with me and playing today uh thank you anyone who's continuing to watch and as always everyone good, good gaming, gaming.